now that you've conquered the trees and you have them sewn together in vertical rows, staggered, it's time to talk about the borders. You can see here that we have an inner border. These are one inch finished half square triangles. I'm gonna give you two good ways to make those. And then a log border on the outside, kind of like a mock rail fence with applique on top. Let's start with these little pesky half square triangles. In the olden days, I would have cut a bunch of squares at one and seven eighths, cut them corner to corner, and then just randomly pick up the pieces and sew them through my machine. I've come up with two different ways, or I've been taught two different ways to handle these half square triangles that will give you probably a better result. The first way I want to share is what I learned from Marsha McClowski. You know, she's famous for all her beautiful feathered stars. So what you would do is you would cut yourself two pieces of fabric, put them right sides together in a square. In this case, I'm cutting them nine and a half by nine and a half or nine by nine. I'm using Laura Nouns really nifty ruler that she has developed. It is perfect for whatever color you're working on. Look how I can see the yellow on here, better than the black. And it's left-handed and right-handed. So I cut out a square at about nine and a half because that's what this ruler is. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take a long ruler and you're going to cut it corner to corner right here and then move it down two inches, cut, two inches, cut, two inches, cut, and so forth on the other side. So this is what you'll have going on. Then you take this to your sewing machine and you sew the long side of each strip sets together, quarter inch of course, like this. Then you're going to press the seams open. That's right, open in this case. And again, these cuts are at two inches. Then what you're going to do is you're going to, oh, let me leave it on this little felt board here so you can see easily. You're going to sew them together after, of course, you've pressed them open, leaving the bottom all one one level, and then you'll see it kind of chunks down like this. And now it's ready to cut. So what I do using Laura's wonderful ruler, which you can get on her website, by the way, is place the ruler on here and cut out one and a half inch squares. So John, why don't you come over my shoulder so everyone can see how I do this. Using this ruler, you're going to cut out now one and a half inch squares. So what I do is I take the center line and put it on the sewn seam. And you can see it's a little bit more here than one and a half because I want to trim. And I'm going to cut, cut, then I'm going to turn this around. and cut again. It's really funny because I just took a workshop with Laura and she was so excited about her new ruler and it was exactly what I was looking for. So your timing was right, Laura, perfectly. Okay, so I'm gonna do this again. You can see I just move to the next section, turn it around, one and a half, and work your way across. From the nine inch two squares that I cut with the ruler, you will reap this many triangles plus a little more. So that's very exciting. They're absolutely perfect because they've been cut that way. But let me show you another way you might wanna handle these half square triangles. If you prefer a more random look of what green goes with what red, you might wanna consider doing this technique. In the instructions in the pattern, I tell you to cut 
squares at one and seven eighths, cut it corner to corner, and then sew it together. But I'd like to suggest this new ruler that I've discovered. It's really cool. It's going to work out really nice. So what you're going to do is you're going to cut a bunch of green squares, I think 77 to be exact, and a bunch of red squares, 77 at two inches. All right. Then you're going to cut down here, corner to corner. It's looking like a half square triangle, only it's just over cut by an eighth of an inch. Go and sew them all through. You can see here, I've sewn these through. And then I want to show you how cool this little tool is called Block Lock. For half square triangles, the Block Lock comes in various square sizes, little ones to big ones. But what sets it apart is that on the back, there's this carved out groove in the plastic. And what it does is it locks the block in place when you go and square it up. When you're going to use the block lock, you want to make sure that you press your seams in one direction, unlike the way I just did it with the Marsha McClowski way. So then what you do is you take your little square, you put it down, you take the lock block, and it literally locks into place. Super awesome. Then what I'm going to do is I can see here I want this to finish at one and a half, but it's oversized because of what I cut it at the two inch square. I'm going to cut here. Notice I've changed to a smaller rotary cutter here. Then I'm going to spin it around, pull this down, register this at one and a half by one and a half, cut, and you have your perfect half square triangle. Do you want me to do it again? Okay, so I put this here, pull it down, make sure it's still more than one and a half on the bottom side. Cut. Carefully spin it around. Pull it up. Register this on one and a half, one and a half. And there you go. I really like this technique because it gives a scrappy look that I just love so much. Time to get busy, I guess.